Welcome back. We are continuing our smart contract project. Previously, we built a new brownie project. We built a smart contract. We deployed the contract with a script. We automated interactions with the contract and we automated deployment testing. In this lecture, we're going to automate transaction testing. So join me back in your file test hello world dot pi here we're going to create another test so to create another test you can just define another function called test and this time we're going to test the contract interaction or transactions so first we're going to have to deploy the contract again because each deployment is local so I'm going to call deployment, All right? And again, we have to specify from which account we are deploying. Then we can try a transaction. So we can call our contract that has been deployed and call one of its functions like change number. And we can pass in our number that we want to change it to, such as new number, which we can set to 333. Okay, so then we'll pass in the new number and we need to also specify from which account we want to do the transaction. Then we're going to save that as our transaction. That way we can call transaction.wait so that the transaction has time to execute. Then the contract will be deployed and it's number will have been changed, but we want to test was the number actually changed correctly. For that we can use the assert keyword and we can assert that our new number is equal to our hello world dot get number. So we're checking that 333 three, three actually equals what is now in the contract after the value has been changed. So then we can test was the value changed correctly with brownie test and this time we are going to get a message to passed which means we have been able to pass two of the tests. We could try this out by checking did 444 equal hello world get number this test should fail because we changed the number to 333, then we're saying that should be 444. So we can call brownie test again, and this time, look at that, the test fails. We get an assertion error because 444 does not equal 333, where 333 equals a contract call to the get number function from the hello world contract at this contract address. So that is an example of the test failing, but if you change it back to the passing version, then you can call brownie test and your tests will pass. So that is how you can automate the smart contract transaction testing with brownie and Python. Don't miss the next lecture. We're going to continue this project and we're going to learn how we can use the brownie console, which is similar to the truffle console or the hard hat console. If you worked with those, we're going to learn how to use the brownie console to deploy a smart contract as well as interact with the contract, make transactions and run scripts. So don't miss the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.